So you might be thinking right about now, O oh, Gage Pilot, did I just get clickbaited? And well, the answer to that is no, as according to crew member Stephen Asquith, before filming the 1983 Down the Mine pilot episode using Gage 1 models, the crew of Thomas the Tank Engine and friends experimented filming with O Gage models. So that is what we'll be talking about in today's video and everything we know thus far. But before I get into the video, I'd like to thank Flying Pringle for revealing most of the information that we'll be talking about today, along with Ryan Sock and Fan100 underscore Thomas for writing most of the document that I'll be using as a basis script for this video. O-Gage, for those of you who don't know, is a scale commonly used for toy trains and rail transport modelling, introduced by German toy manufacturer Marklin around 1900, by the 1930s, three rail alternating current O-Gage was the most common model railroad scale in the United States and remained so until the early 1960s. In my Down the Mind pilot video about the Gage 1 models from several weeks ago, I mentioned that the scrap model of Thomas was either a test model or some sort of prototype, but I stated that I couldn't confirm that it was and it was mostly just speculation on my end. However, it is widely believed that the scrap model of Thomas seen in the episode Off the Rails from 1984 Season 1 and the model of Lower Tidmouth which appeared in the actual series were built for this O-Gage test pilot. The Lower Tidmouth building was seemingly modified after being constructed to make it look bigger, originally being noticeably shorter in size than the other station buildings with a seam along the roof. According to Flying Pringle, Tom's Props was one of the first Thomas the Tank Engine fans to ever hear about this pilot. In a tweet, he mentioned the scrap model of Thomas in Off the Rails being a prototype model, but claimed he had no proof to support his theory, which is the same theory I had when I talked about it in my video. For those of you who may be skeptical on the contents of this video, Flying Pringle recently announced that he wants to interview Stephen Asquith about it at some point in the near future, that will hopefully set things straight in regards to the authenticity of our claims. In this next part of the video, most of the information here is up for speculation, and so take what you will with a few grains of salt. David Payne mentioned in an interview for the Sodor Island forums that the models for the Down the Mine pilot episode were unreliable, leading to a halt in production because it contradicts the recollections of other crew members who do not remember the Down the Mine pilot's production being halted. It's possible he may have referred to the O-Gage test. Christopher Knowlton mentioned in an interview for a cancelled Thomas the Tank Engine related documentary that he only remembered a few shots were filmed for the pilot episode. According to Tom's props, the crew may have only filmed that quote-unquote false start using the O-Gage models and then abandoned the project altogether. With that in mind, and having a fair idea that they built the Lower Timoth prop for this O-Gage test, it is possible that the only scene they shot with the O-Gage models was the one set in Lower Timoth. On the 38th page of the Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends production packet written in 1982, it was stated that the filming for the pilot was intended to start in March of 1983. However, the actual filming for the Down the Mine pilot began in mid-April, suggesting that the O-Gage pilot's filming started in March. Twitter users Wilbert Ladd and ThomasFan100 pointed out that Ertl, a company associated with Thomas Toys, often had drawings of the engines on their packaging that were traced from actual ruler picks of the props from the show. On the back packaging of the Power Pool Thomas toy, a drawing of Thomas appears that closely matches the scrap model seen in the episode Off the Rails from Season 1. This implies that the reference pictures of the O-Gage Thomas model existed and were in possession of Ertl at some point. Resemblance has also been seen drawn to Merritt's early Thomas merchandise, notably the lily pad eyes. Merritt would have been one of the first toy producers to manufacture products for the television series and an obscured still of the Gage 1 pilot was used in their packaging artwork. As well as very early production photographs such as model reference pictures, Merritt merchandise is dated 1983 being designed well in advance of the series' premiere on television. So that's all we know so far. Although the facts of this is up for speculation with statements from crew members that contradict each other, there is a decent amount of evidence to justify the existence of an O-Gage test pilot. But for now, that's all we have. Maybe sometime soon, light will be shed on the production of this test pilot with O-Gage models. Although a little bit of a stretch, it's very possible that there are images and footage of the test film out there somewhere. But until then, thanks for watching.